Hey guys, my name is Batimio, and with the recent changes to the designated marksman rifle, I wanted to go out and test to see if these weapons are now viable. Before the recent patch, before they gave them the little upgrade in their damage, they were pretty much useless. They didn't perform well in any single type of combat scenario. You would have assumed that they would do well at a distance, but weapons like the assault rifles and even some of the carbines would outperform the designated marksman rifles simply because they took so long to take out your target. Like, at long range, it before, before the patch, it took four bullets to drop an enemy. But now with the recent update, it now only requires three bullets to take out your target, and they've also increased the accuracy across the board on all of them. It's slightly different for each of them, but across the board, their accuracy and their damage has been slightly increased. And so I wanted to go out for myself and discover if these changes were exactly what the weapons needed to become more viable. And after just a couple of rounds, it became very apparent that while I would not say that they are overpowered, they are a lot more useful and a lot more fun to use and, and fit the role that they were designed for, which is medium to long range combat. And so at the start of my journey in discovering if these weapons were going to be more viable, I tried out a bunch of different game modes. I tried out the close quarter maps, such as Domination and Team Deathmatch, and then I transitioned on over to more some Conquest and Rush to play them at a distance. And while you can still do well up close, as long as you were skillful and you could get some headshots in there so you only have to, t to get two bullets into your enemy, there's still not a weapon that are going to be very strong in those types of engagements. Like, you really do want to use these at medium to long range. And I know that's been something that people were a little worried about. A lot of people were concerned that this was going to be a return to the power that uh, Battlefield 3 had, where you could run around with the SKS and the M416 and destroy people up close. There was a that one-shot headshot multiplier that was in the game, and if you were very good with those designated marksman rifles, you could dominate the the enemy. And even though I didn't think that they were overpowered and broken in Battlefield 4, I know people will disagree with me, but I can see why DICE was a little hesitant in increasing their power. And so, at least so far, I wouldn't be concerned with how the DMRs have been performing. It looks like it is exactly how they're meant to be. If you want to use these weapons, you're going to want to play conservatively. You're going to be wanting to sit back, you're going to want to support your enemies or your allies from a distance, and take pot shots from long range. You do not want to be rushing towards the objectives you can do so if you feel like you're skillful enough then that is available but you're not gonna get the fullest out of the weapons themselves and when you go against someone who was using a high rate of fire gun or even a normal assault assault rifle or a carbine you are going to be at a disadvantage and so honestly I think that what dice has done has been just phenomenal for the DMRs uh, one thing I did want to talk about real quick though is why is there so much hate for these weapons? It seems like every single time I jump into a round, and if anyone is using the designated marksman rifles, there's at least someone complaining about it. You'll see in, in the chat, they'll be complaining about DMR noobs, like why are you spamming the DMRs? And that's, that's puzzling to me because while I understand that the sound of the weapons is very annoying, like hearing that, that psh, psh sound, you guys know what I'm talking about, is a little infuriating when it's constant, but at the same time, it's like the spam of the weapons is no worse than assault rifles. Like, assault rifles spam bullets down range, and so do light machine guns. I would assume more people would complain about light machine guns because they can get a lot more bullets down range without having to reload. And especially if they're using a bipod, they can also be very accurate with those shots. And so, I guess I've just never understood this criticism. But if you know why everyone hates it, let me know down below in the comments section. I've always wondered, is it the sound itself? I, I can see that, it is very annoying. But I guess I've just never understood the spam complaint, because that's what all weapons do. They spam bullets down range to kill their targets. But if you, if you know what's going on here, you are someone who hates the spam of the designated marksman rifles, let me know why down below. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about really quickly is that DICE just released another article explaining some of the aspects of Battlefield 4 that they're monitoring and what may be changing in, in the future. And one thing that I know many people will find interesting is that they are not going to be nerfing the Ace-23 assault rifle. Uh, the Ace-23 is one of the most popular weapons in the game right now. It does well in every single type of combat scenario. A lot of the competitive scene gravitates on over towards that weapon. I laughed a little bit because the competitive scene out of a four is almost non-existent but the competitive players or people that want to do well use the ace 23 because it is an amazing weapon uh, but dice's reasoning behind not nerfing it is that it doesn't outperform 
all weapons in every single type of combat scenario. They said that in close encounter combat, they get outperformed by stuff like the AEK, the FAMAS, the F2000. They do well at medium range, but then when you go for long range combat, you have weapons like the SCAR-H and uh, the SAR, assault rifles, that will dominate them at those distances. And so at least in the mind of DICE right now, the ACE-23 is well balanced. It is a, a, a very popular weapon, but at least right now they have no plan of changing it. Uh, another interesting point they bring up is why the designated marksman rifles don't have access to the higher optics, like the 8x scope. A lot of people were puzzled by this fact when they transferred from Battlefield 3 on over into Battlefield 4 because they assumed DMRs were meant for long range engagements. Why didn't they have access to these customization and these optics? And DICE's reason behind this is that because DMRs are now an all kit weapon, they are not just meant for the recon class, they didn't want assault players or engineers and supports sniping people from across the map. They wanted that to be exclusively for the recon class and the bolt action rifles and they also just wanted the matches to flow well. They didn't want all kits to be sniping at long range. That doesn't sound like a very enjoyable gameplay experience. And so looking at it from that standpoint I see exactly why DICE did what they did. It still just seems a little funny because they are designated marksman rifles and you would assume but looking at it from that standpoint I I I'm gonna have to side with DICE on this one. One thing that did sadden me a little bit about this list though, and also impressed me about DICE, is that they currently do not have any plans on increasing the maneuverability of the attack helicopter. This vehicle is almost a pile of trash on some maps. If you're not playing on something like Dawnbreaker or Siege of Shanghai where you can take advantage of the buildings to block line of sight, it feels impossible to do well with the attack helicopter. It's like a flying coffin. You're almost giving free kills to the mobile anti-air vehicle. But because DICE already has plans on increasing the direct damage of the gunner and the Zuni rockets alongside nerfing the anti-air in the game, they don't want to push too much power in the favor of the attack helicopter all of a sudden, next patch making it blatantly overpowered. And so while personally, I would love for this vehicle to have more maneuverability, at the same time, I respect DICE's decision at not making large sweeping changes all of a sudden, where one vehicle or one weapon all of a sudden becomes blatantly overpowered. And so I'm still gonna cross my fingers that this will be a change, but at the same time, I'm also hoping that the adjustments that they make in the upcoming patch is all that we need and that that will make the attack helicopter finally a viable vehicle. Uh, but before I wrap up today's video, I have to mention the recent changes to the black spawn screen that were introduced in the recent patch. Whoever at DICE or the multiple people at DICE that was able to reduce the spawn screen or that black spawn system from one second down to 0.11 seconds, you are amazing. This is a night and day difference almost to the point where it has completely changed the game for me because the system before this it was awful. It was a nightmare. It was pretty much to the point where if you were spawning in on an ally, it was a flip of the coin if you were committing suicide because when you spawned in and when that black screen was activated for a, a, for a good second there, you couldn't see anyone, but everyone around you could see you, including the enemy. And so there were a lot of times, I even, I, I'm uh, guilty of this, is that when I see an enemy off in the distance and I see an ally just spawn on directly on him, I usually avoid the guy that's running around and I just go for the person that's standing still for the second. It was an easy guaranteed kill. And it was that mechanic that was infuriating. It was simply infuriating. And so the fact that DICE has gone in and they've reduced it from one second down to 0.11 second or whatever it is, it's been a night and day difference. It has completely changed the game for me and I can now finally feel safe on spawning into my allies and not just being vulnerable to everyone around me. It has been fantastic. Uh, but that is about it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what your experience so far has been with the patch. Have you been enjoying it as much as I have? I I've been receiving a lot of Twitter and Facebook messages that the game feels tighter, especially on consoles. They've been enjoying the content a lot more. So let me know what your experience has been down below in the comment section. Uh, but until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.